Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, like I promised on the last video, uh, today I'll be demonstrating you know, how to draw a pictorial view. So I'll be drawing it live with you guys. Hope you learn something. Mm, okay. First of all, you are given a drawing like this. Okay, let's first uh, read the instructions. Huh? The pictorial view of a hinge showing a trace of vertical cutting plane AA. This is the cutting plane AA is cutting through the middle of this hinge. Instruction to not copy the drawing. Yeah, some people you may find out they are, they are copying the drawing like this and then draw it in asymmetry. But here is not what is required. So if you if you are you you are given an isometric view, you they don't give you views like this. They give you other graphic views and then you transform it into isometric. Okay, so draw in a third angle of the graphic projection. This is very important. Third angle. If you miss it and then draw it in a first angle, you're gonna lose marks. And scale one as to one. This is very important also. And then a sectional front view AA. They want a sectional front view and a top view. On this one, uh, they, they don't require what you call a right, a right, a right view. This, this view here. They want a top view and a sectional front view. Show the cutting plane on the top view. You're gonna get marks for this one. Label the section views. So when you come here to criteria, you can see the the marks are located. So after you've drawn, you have to make sure that you have this one, you have this one, you have this one, you have this one, and then you'll get total. So in this case, we're only required to draw two views. So uh, the uh, the right view is not required. Okay, uh, let me check if I have enough space. Mm, I have uh, uh, 114. Yes. So when you draw this this drawing here, make sure you have to make sure that you draw a Cartesian plane where you have enough space. Nah. So now the front sectional front view you're looking from this side. So what you will see, you will see a complete circle. And this one you 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 will see it as a, a rectangle. And then you have this web. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna start by this cycle. Like you know, um, I'll start measuring from this point. I'm gonna measure my the cycle. The outer cycle is 42 diameters, so which means I'll measure 22. So 42 is 22. This is my 22. And measure 22 again. And from there, I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna start by drawing a center line. So don't forget to to use it is square guys, always. So, I'm gonna open my compass. Uh, I already got my 22 here. Yeah. 
so my my second i'm just gonna end it here because i have that double line of a 12 so i'm just gonna assume it's gonna be somewhere there and then the inside one is uh 26 which means i'll measure open a radius of 13 that's my radius of 13 and throw a complete circle from there i'm gonna measure this 84 84 from the center from my 84 from the center it's gonna come here so and measure the path so so i'll have uh, six and six measure six and six so i'm just gonna start by drawing construction line construction line there and there so my 84 and on this point but it's on the center of this this oval when you look from the top view so which means i'm gonna have to from the center that side is gonna be 20 since that oval is 40 so let me just extend this and measure 20 and then from there I draw my vertical line And then from this point, don't forget that 40. So that 40 is going to end here. So like I said, when we look from the front view, we're going to see a rectangle. And remember, we're drawing a sectional front view. Sectional. So what, what is the distance from here? up there mm, the distance it's 45 yes 45 it's 45 so i'm gonna measure 45 so remember we're drawing a section of you which means this this step inside you're gonna be able to to see it but now we can join the web here so the web is from the top to the tangent of the circle don't, don't draw it up to the center draw it to the tangent like that so that's your web now i can close these gaps for for this circle I'm just gonna join it here and join it here and I'll just remove this line yeah so what's next okay let's find the center the center of this one is 20 20 so what I will do from here, I will just draw a center line here. Don't forget, it's very important to draw a center line because you're going to get marks for it. Huh? And then from there, I can make this one dark, a solid line. And then up to here. Remember, we're going, we're going to section this part. Solid line. Solid line. So from there. We have this circle which is 24. The, the inside one. So it's 24. So, which means we're gonna measure 12. It's gonna be 
Phil. Prep. And it goes down by how much? Six. You see? Six here. Yes, it goes down by six. Okay. First, I'll just draw the construction line. Another construction line. So I'm just going to measure six. That's my six. Another six. And if you check, guys, the, there is another... Uh, there's four which is going inside so i'm just gonna measure four here four four so i'll make the this one solid And this one it goes it goes down up to to the last part. So this is how it will look. And I'm gonna close this one up. So we are done with the section of front view. What's left is to do section. So I'm gonna use my 45 degree to section. This is how you do section. Remember, you don't section a web. Don't section a web. So, we will section this part also. Now you're done with the section front view. So don't forget to label. You must print sectional front view. You draw two millimeters line. So you're gonna measure two millimeters and four millimeters, two millimeters. This is where you're gonna print your the name. So don't forget you get marks for this one. Sectional front view. You print sectional.
just gonna extend a little bit here. So now we're gonna draw the top view. So to draw the top view, we transfer each line in there to the top view there. The raw construction is fine. So you you're gonna need all of this. So it will make it easy so don't 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 just come and like some people may say okay since i know the measurement i won't do construction line they will just come and measure everything in here you will lose marks because you won't have a construction line so this construction lines are needed well on the autographic views it's all about transferring measurements transfer measurements and it will be easy for you to to draw so so that's everything you will need and from there you come you come to the center um draw center line this will be also your Cutting plane. And remember, uh, on a cutting plane, the last, the last do dots, they must be a little bit dark. Okay, from there. Okay. This one also you need to transfer. And this one. So this one. I'll have to extend it a little bit. This will be my last point. So from there, when you look from uh, on the top view, we have a distance of 66. So 66 divided by 2 is 33. So I'm just going to measure. Yes. Using my compass here, to measure the three. My D three and my D three. So I'm just gonna draw extraction line like that. So don't forget where the a semicircle there. So first. Okay, now it's time to draw the semicircle. So remember, we have 40. So which means I'm gonna measure 20 from from this point to there. I'm gonna measure 20. That's my 20. And then 20 also. And then that will be my center lining. I'll draw a center line like that. And also from this side.
Oh, let's say that is not, it's not correct. It's a little bit out. So here's my second. And from there, I'm just gonna join this one. And join this one. And there, there's another smaller one, which is 24. So I'm just gonna open 12. And use the is the same center. Like that. And close that up to and from there there's still another one which is mm, it's gonna be how much so let's say 24 minus I have to say 12 minus 4 which, which is gonna be 8 but I have already have my measurement here so which is this one you see the construction lines help right here Just like that, we close that up. Then you are done, and then from there, draw a line. So when we look from the above, we'll see that circle as a rectangle. And then don't forget we have a web which is 12. So we're gonna measure six, 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 six. And then we're just gonna draw it up to the middle there. So you see guys, my drawing is not that accurate because I don't have a T-square yet. So I've been looking around, I can't, can't find a T-square, but soon I'll find it. I'll find it and then my drawings will be a little bit accurate. Because you can see that some measurements are out. But this is how your top view will look like. Here, yeah, this piece is this one. The one you see here. This rectangle is this one. The top view is this one. So don't forget to, to draw the arrows. So they must label. Label. So sectional view A. A. Okay. okay guys that's it now you done now you check sectional front view you have it you got 11 top view you have it you got 11 don't forget uh, to label also in this one to 
you just label under here this is the top view label and arrows label arrows label hitching with the hitching now you have the total of the okay guys thank you so much thank you so much so this is the end see you on my next video on my next video i'll be teaching how to to draw nuts and bolt and how to do the chamfering thank you thank you so much guys see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe